Could I ask about the frontier, the idea of the American frontier in all this? I mean, yes, Steve, indeed. I saw the camp meeting uh, mm -hmm. business, which is uh, uh, on the literature. Yes, sir. And uh, I wonder how far, strangely enough, the millennia, the, the, the Adventist idea brings stability into a changing and, and difficult and moving world. I, I think, I mean, that, that's, that's a, a, I think, a really important observation that this is a, a society which does not have settled church structures um, and where the, the, the pace of social change and, and the movement of people uh, is, a, is, is, is a continuous feature. And you see this, I mean, I could also talk about the way that it's not an accident that Pentecostalism first emerges in Los Angeles around the turn of the, of the 20th century, which is sort of similarly you know, unchurched territory without kind of organized structures in it. Um, I, I think there I would distinguish between the Millerite movement, which is, is a little way back from the frontier as such. It's very much a New England thing. It does, does reach out into sort of a higher, um, but it's, it's, its heartland is more into New England, New York State. Um, and the Seventh-day Adventists themselves who move, who move much further west uh, and whose base of operations for the later 19th century is Michigan. Um, I think, and, and they're, they're the ones who are establishing communities. Um, the, you know, the, the, the Millerite movement is, is a moment. It's this, this short-lived circus church. Um, the Adventists, are the, some of the Adventists are the ones who are actually setting up enduring communities in societies where, where, where those sorts of communities are, are obviously lacking and where there is a, it, clearly an appetite for them. 